Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. It's Steve, and you are watching episode 82 of We Want to See Your Helmets. And you guys are listening because the pictures are getting better and better, and you are also posting and tagging on social media. So today is a combination of email submissions and photo submissions on uh, social media, various sources. So we have a whole bunch of them to get to. We're going to jump right into this and start off with Cody. And Cody says, hi guys, love the videos and seeing everyone's creations. They've definitely sparked my creativity and ideas for cool things. This is my second build after working out the kinks on a, a chrome replica helmet, trying to get everything right. All right. So let's see what he has for us. Wow. So Cody is starting the day off strong. This looks like an outstanding helmet, actually. So chroming a helmet in general is not easy. The shell itself has to be like perfect because the chrome will show all sorts of um, blemishes and marks and dents and bumps. And this is pretty awesome. Love the color combination, center stripes. He's got Patriots. 3D bumpers, chrome mask, he even did the buckles on the chin strap. Yeah, I mean, this is an amazing job. Next up is Dallas. He has some sort of a, hmm, a bandit, maybe a cowboy of some sort on that logo. I like that. He's got the pink US flag on the back along with the standard red, white, and blue. He's got number eight on there. That's my number and that really dark visor with a black Sports Star Victory T-Rex Hurricane chin strap. These helmets usually are not very attractive looking, but I gotta tell you, this is, this is cool looking. He just has it propped up in his chair in his backyard. We're probably all the way back to like October still, so if you haven't made it on the show yet, be patient, you might still have time. Next up is Davis H. And he says, hey, I'm Dave and I play inside backer and running back. I go to Grace Community in Tyler, Texas. I'm a freshman this year on JV. All right, man, I like it. So he's got a Riddell Speed Flex Youth. If you're a freshman, you ought to be wearing an adult helmet, my friend. Be very careful. 14 years and older means you have to wear adult, so um, you might want to make this the last year with that youth helmet. And it looks like it's got plenty of character marks. He's playing hard as an inside linebacker should. Yeah, man, this is a cool look. I'm not really sure um, what that logo is. Interesting. Well, anyway, thank you for sending these in. Next up, Douglas B. And he says, hey, I am Douglas. I'm 14 and I'm a huge fan of the show. I did a Cleveland Cavaliers concept build. Nothing much. It needs a new visor and a chin strap. I hope Steve appreciates the picks. All right, let's see what you got, Douglas. Oh yes, very dramatic lighting. And yeah, you're right. I mean, the helmet does need some stuff. And it's a pretty basic Riddell Victor, but you took the trouble of setting up really cool pictures. I don't know if that's a, a red light or if you took a flashlight and put something over it, but that's the way to make at least a basic helmet kind of cool looking. You send in more pictures as soon as you get a little bit more upgrades to that and you will make it back on the show, all right? Next up is Eric K, and he sent in a whole mess. So he says, hey guys, my name is Eric. I'm active duty military. Thank you very much, Eric. Be careful out there. We appreciate you. I buy my helmets used from either Goodwill or eBay, Bondo, sand, spray paint, uh, wet sand, buff, polish. Um, and man, this guy really knows what he's doing. He says, your show is awesome. Keep up the good work. Well. Let's see some of the stuff Eric K has made. My goodness, Eric. <laughs> First of all, the Tommy Boy scene paused on the screen here, here. It's not so much here. If you know the movie, you'll get it. Um, he's got like 40 something helmets here. And 
I mean, what a hobby to have. This guy might turn this hobby into a profession over the years. You might get so popular, though, that these teams might start coming after you. So <laughs> be careful out there, man. He's got everything from Gamecocks to Old Miss to the Buckeyes and, uh, let's see, Michigan State. He, he's got everything on here. My goodness, North Carolina. He, I think I see some CFL teams in there even. Clemson, Trojans. Wow. All right, well, he definitely has the helmet bug. Thank you, Eric. Next up is Greg H., and photos of my home-built University of Michigan helmet. Hope you enjoy the submission. Well, thank you, Greg. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, that is super interesting. So I can't tell if the color on this is not blue or if it's just like the lighting is odd. Um, it looks like he has this in a game room taken on a pool table perhaps. If it's not blue, that's fine. Um, it almost looks maroon. I can't, I can't tell. But either way, that paint job on those stripes are outstanding. This looks great. And if they're decals, then you did an even better job. And I really like all the award decals on the side. Looks like you have colored face mask hardware. He's got a ratchet strap chin strap on there which is intended for a Riddell Speed Flex and this certainly is not a Riddell Speed Flex so yeah he really played around with this thing hmm hmm okay cool thanks Greg next up is Hayden and he says hi my name's Hayden I'm 13 I love your guys videos so I decided to make my own helmet because you guys because you guys got me stuck on helmets I know it's that's what we do all right, Hayden. Oh, yeah. So here is how you get a dramatic mountain view in the background. Uh, I wonder where he is. Did he say? No. Looks like maybe North Carolina or something. But um, So Cowboy's helmet looks pretty basic, but then he's done some things to it, like upgraded the chin strap. He has a visor on there with zip ties, which I actually love. I love that look because that's really sometimes what you got to do to make it work. This looks like a sleeves or another uh, rainbow um, generic visor, but it looks cool on here. All right. Well, Hayden, keep up the good work. Keep collecting. Next up is Rafe. Rafe? Rafe? I don't know. Sorry if I butchered your name. Here's an updated look to my high school helmet with decals on it. Let's see what we got. Okay. I want to say I've actually seen this before. I have. So I remember saying that I couldn't wait to see this helmet decaled up. He's got it back in that locker, back with that purple and white fade. Oh my goodness. That decal on the side. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say about that. I want to say it's cute, but like, should it, should it be cute? I don't know. It's so interesting. He's number 40. I love, love that American flag decal on the back. That center stripe is super cool. Yeah, man. I love, love it. Thank you for the updated pictures. Next up is Trinidad, and he says... These are built from the ground up. Would love to make the show. Well, here you are, my friend. He sent some before pictures of just the shell. It looks like a medium Riddell speed. And boom, look at that. A nice collage of Oklahoma Sooners. Big old number 13 on the back. He's got an embossed tech American flag. Yeah, 3D bumpers, visor. He's got the safe clips on there even, which are fantastic. He's got the smoked visor on there. It looks like an Oakley visor, and then he has Jumpman decals on there, which that's cool. White warning label. I mean, this is amazing, man. The, the stuff that people can do on their own. I love it. Thank you. Next up is Wes D. 
He's got one picture, and it is a dramatic one. It is a really cool-looking, big grill having shut helmet. He's got the C on the side with the eagle on it or a hawk. I cannot tell what the visor tabs say. Hmm, I wish I knew. Uh, he's got black visor clips on there. Dude, this helmet would be even better if you got rid of that center quarter turn thing and just put on two regular face mask clips. That's, that's my personal choice. I just, I, I just don't like the way that that thing looks. But aside from that, this is cool. All right, and then we're gonna end with social submissions. And remember, these are from October. So when you see this awesome Halloween one, don't be surprised. So here is Aaron W from Facebook. He's got his helmet covered in drip. That's cool. We got Brandon H on Twitter. Super, super cool. That is a mini helmet that you almost wouldn't know. Love it with the flames in the back. Chad on Twitter. Yeah, such a nice Vols helmet. You know, what was cool with this paint job, it has like that liquid metal or um, like a blaze look on it. Number seven on the back, 3D bumpers. Yeah, that's legit. All right, and then we got Kuv1, our good friend. Uh, he's got his upgraded Seahawks helmet with all that flake in it. I love that look. I wish that they would actually wear that color on the field. Kuv1 also has um, a really nice Buccaneers helmet, again, with the flake. I know what he likes. We got Danny S. on Facebook with this amazing all-pink Seahawks helmet. It's got a pink shock visor on there, pink decals, pink flag. I mean, pink, pink, pink. That's cool. Lewis R. from Facebook, all chromed out. Gold chrome is so good. And this looks like a collectible that he actually bought because it has that big warning label on there. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we got Nate M. on Twitter. Now, Nate... We know Nate, he 3D prints helmets. So this is a 3D printed helmet. And in perfect Nate fashion, he didn't just make an awesome helmet. He then did all of the work to set the scene with his jack-o'-lantern. He's got candles. He's literally out at a cemetery. He's got it around a whole pile of candy. It's just, it's just so good, man. Amazing. And then next up is Robert H. on Twitter. And he has the Notre Dame collection. He's got an autograph or two on there. I love that one with the pinstripe. It's just so good. Yeah. All right. So that's it for our social submissions. And that is it for our submissions. That is all that we have time for. We covered a lot today. If you made it to the end of this video and you didn't make it, I'm sorry. Keep sending in your pictures. Be patient. It takes us a couple of weeks or months to get caught up. And if you like this kind of video, please just let me know in the comments below. Until next time, cheers.